said it was going to be a beach party, and when I and what's a better at a party than a funny guy, huh? Uh, so, beer. All right, John. We're just gonna you're just gonna have to keep quiet for a minute. Okay? <laughs> our first guest is a stand-up comedian and a real funny guy and a real, real, real big Beach Boys fan. Here he is, Dan Saint Germain. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mike. You got a firm handshake. Yeah, thank you for having me. Hey, no problem. Thanks really for thanks it. for being here. You know, you look a lot like someone I used to know. Oh, who is that? I'll talk about it. <laughs> it's no big deal. This is the most haunting late night show I've ever done in my entire life. Well, it's a beach party. I don't yeah, know what's so haunting party. about it. Oh, sorry, it. sorry. Are you having fun? I am. I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, did you see all those bikinis outside? Oh, out there, yeah, there, there was like one and a half bikinis. Yeah, that's... They, were, they weren't attached to bottom people. Bottom or top? Uh, it was just <laughs> near the dumpster. Uh, are you a, are you a uh, top what? man or a bottom man? Uh, I, I like the middle part. Blondes... <laughs> Oh, you like the you like I don't know the what that means. you like the big ones, huh? Oh, like, yo, we had yeah. an album called Fifteen Big Ones. Remember that one? I remember that. Yeah, seventy five. Yeah. yeah, I hear. Yeah, I used to listen to it backwards. And uh, if you play, if you sync it up with the movie Deep Impact, it's really <laughs> unbelievable. It tells the whole story of the movie. You do remind me of someone. Okay. <sighs> it's fine. What's a good? We'll talk. We'll listen. <laughs> So I hear you're a big fan of my work, huh? A huge fan, yeah. When did you first get into the Beach Boys? Uh, the Kokomo years, my favorite uh, years. Ah, yes, those were the best years, <laughs> Yeah, those, yeah. I love that, I love yeah. that album. Yeah, the, that actually wasn't was an it? album, it was a single. No, oh, no, oh, it wasn't? Did you have the greatest... I actually had uh, Are Kokomo. Are you lying to me? No, I had, I had Kokomo. You know, I can tell when you're lying. I, I know all about liars, <laughs> like my cousin, Lion Brian Wilson. I bet you're a big fan of his, too, aren't no, you? No, no, fuck that guy. You know, he's, uh, you know... He's a Muslim. He's a Muslim? Yeah. Oh, my God. I know. Yeah, that explains the bed thing. All these Muslims sleeping in beds all the time. <laughs> I know. I know. That's their big stereotype. I know. Sorry, I stopped listening again. <laughs> I know. You know I'm 74 years old. I know. You look great. Thanks. It's yeah. transcendental meditation. It keeps me young. I actually, I do TM. And do you? The, the, sad, like, the saddest thing was your TM is actually close to what I use in real life. I actually use. I use it in real life too. Yeah, Sh yeah, yeah. That's good. yeah, me too. That's who great. is your uh, Who is your guru? Uh, this guy named Teddy. He works at the Wawa. No, uh, uh, it's I, not I funny. That's place. not something you should Sorry. joke about. Uh, I went to this. Uh, it saved my life. No, it's it's helped me too. I right. went to the David Lynch Foundation. You had a LA. lot of you had a lot of problems. I, I still have a lot. I have more problems now. Right. That I started the TM. Drinking and drugging. Drinking and I drugging. I done some drinking. I done some drugging. Yep. In and out of in and out of various facilities. In and out of facilities, sure. Yeah, you had a lot of trouble. I'm a lot sorry. of trouble. You'd be turning your life around now, huh? Somewhat, yeah. Oh, that's great. I'm, so I'm uh, chewing a lot more gum. So there's that. Oh wow. Yeah, drinking juices. That's good. So how long you been? Uh, how long you been on the on? Is it on the wagon? Is that what they? I've call been on it? the wagon for about a year and a half. Um, wow. Wow. I had some time before that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, one person in the studio audience. <laughs> Everyone else is just like, There eh, are thousands here, but they're you. keeping quiet. I mean, oh, th yeah, yeah, exactly. They're riveted right now. I know. They're in front. They're seeing their hero and up, up, up close and personal. Big Mike Love right here. Big, big Mike. I yeah. don't think I'm, I think I'm pretty big. But no, you're like stout Mike. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That, which one's the 187 pounds still. You look, yeah, you look great. Oh, yeah. You look uh, John. Like Thanks, Brando John. at the end. Uh, so you're a so you're a writer too, I guess. I sometimes, right? yeah. You want any advice? Sure. You want to write something good? Read the greeting cards at Wal at Walgreens. Walgreens. That's a re that's where I get all my lyrics. What's your? That's where I get all my lyrics. It's true. It's what's, true because I want to. What's your favorite one? Well, I love the the get well cards and the. Uh, I love the thank you cards because I like to feel appreciated. You just write them to yourself and you read them. Well, anyway, we'll talk about. It. Yeah. I don't want to get into this. So, how have the Beach Boys inspired your comedy? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, the Full House years is it was were, were unbelievable. A hilarious show. A hilarious, hilarious show. show. Uh, hilarious show. Hilarious show. Yeah, great, great. I'd say the best television show since The Honeymooners. I would say, yeah. Thank I love so the Honeymooners, much. you know, just American values. Said, yeah, Honeymooners, uh, Full House, and then after that, Yes, Dear, hmm. kind of filled the shoes of that. You like uh, Milton Berle? 
Um, yeah, he's great. Yeah, great, hilarious. You he friends was, with him? He was, I, no, no, he was before my time. But I used to watch him when I was a kid, and I always thought his jokes were so original and so yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, very original. Yeah, so who are you voting for, Dennis? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be, this year I'll probably be voting for Hillary Clinton. Is that a problem? And for you, maybe. For us, if she gets elected. So, yeah, yeah. it is a problem. Well, yeah. You know what? What's what's in Hillary's uh, emails? God only knows, right? <laughs> <laughs>